the next session on that same day was the, the Muay Thai. Oh my god. I didn't expect anything like it, you know, I didn't I didn't expect to see what, what went down. It was gruesome. I don't I can't tell you how how would I would have taken that that workout if I was participating, you know, to be on the team. We have to respect the Thai culture, you have to respect the Thai trainers, you have to respect the Thai fighters. A lot of these Muay Thai fighters have they've been fighting since they were, you know, five years old. And, and I think they wanted to see how tough these guys were. And they, I think they wanted to see if somebody was going to give up and, and quit. Yeah, that first session's tough. We get a lot of people around camp because it's kind of one of the off hours in camp. People are floating around, having lunch. So a lot of people kind of drift over when they hear the noise and see what's going on. And it's not one of those, just gonna have a quick look and then flip the channel. Like people sat and stayed for like an hour just to watch that workout because it was entertaining. Slightly horrendous. I mean, it was a, it was a train wreck and, and people like to see train wrecks. I'm not sure if they had like a little team meeting but they all seemed to be on the same page, and that was a very staunch, hard-nosed page. Um, they were holding pads for the guys, but the pads were hitting back. We didn't quite expect that. But yeah, while I was hitting the bag, I started yeah. hearing people falling over and whatnot. I've looked back and yeah, nice and tough. Well, I guess it would have showed who could take it and yeah, who's ready for it and who wants it. ต้องการซ้อมต้องการซ้อมแล้วก็เทสดูว่าให้มันหนักให้ให้ให้ให้มันหนักเหมือนกับให้มันให้มันหนักว่าเอ่อเขาสามารถต้านได้มั้ยเ
and definitely taking it out on him. So I was just trying not to have my chest caved in. That was our worst session. It might have been your favourite session if you were watching, but to be involved in it was yeah, it was horrible. They, I mean, they absolutely battered us, and there's no other way to describe the session really. Muay Thai is hard, man. You know what I mean? You don't just come in. A lot of these guys have got attitudes as well. They're, they're hitting the trainers. In Muay Thai, you just take your beating. If you can get up off the beating, then you'll get accepted. You, you stay down, you're gonna get kicked again and again. I really think it is that, that Muay Thai ethos where if a guy backs up, they're going to stalk you and they're not going to respect you. You know, the guys that stood their ground, especially off the first couple punches that came and that didn't show that fear response and that wince and that, oh, I'm just going to back away so you miss me, the guys that actually blocked, checked, or, or took it, I think got a lot more respect from the pad holders. The guys that backed away, the pad holders just went, you know what, I'm going to smash you for the rest of this three minute round. This <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> No reason to take these to the head for an hour. We had one trainer throw a couple huge knees at guys, and one of them landed, split Dan Frazier's uh, chin pretty bad. So nine stitches later, um, he finished the workout. Muay Thai. Uh, I was hitting pads with uh, one of the trainers and uh, he caught me slipping, hit me with a knee and uh, got a little cut. It looks worse than it is. It's just a small cut. But still having fun. Honestly, it's been like that since the beginning of my career. Uh, no complaints there. Sparring with guys have made me the, the fighter I am today. So. You know, this is going to really test these guys' will and their toughness and like, just just see if they're, they're, they're willing to grind it out. I mean, they're, they're grinding it out, but you know, some of them are kind of fading away. I mean, we're, we're in Thailand, you know, we're, we're in the home of the Thai people and it's up to them how they want to run their thing. And, I mean, these guys have been fighting since they were like five years old, you know, and they're kind of showing a little bit of that to these Westerners. I was just eating these. So. I was dealing with heavy body shots as well. Nado is um, he's a beast. He's, free. he's only a small boy, but he's young as well, but he's, he's got some power. He's going to be a really, really good fighter. He was breaking people with his knees and stuff. Ouch. That's all I can say is ouch. Yeah, it's okay, man. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they're not bad, not bad. Good guys. <laughs> 50, put up! 50, 50! มวยไทยและเอ็มเอเอเนี่ยผมบอกว่ามันมันเป็นอะไรที่ว่าดีมากนะครับผมว่ามวยไทยเนี่ยจะจะจะเป็นการยืนที่การยืนต่อยการการย
And uh, if you, those guys train like this, they keep his mentality, you have to train hard, so the fights come more easy for them, no? So you have to, to give everything you have, and uh, if you go to fight, it's gotta be the same. It's uh, an incredibly great opportunity to train with all the Thai trainers today that are, you know, all of them have a ton of fights. Oh, that was a really, really tough session for these guys. That was probably the most brutal session that they go through here because that was very authentic Thai training. Tough. Not too bad. Better now that it's over. <laughs> yeah, this, I thought this morning was hell, but luckily I had a good nap and this is good. I need it. Uh, way harder today. The trainers kicked our butts really good. Feel great though. Feeling positive. Hard training. That's what I live for. First kick, I uh, kicked his elbow and broke my toe. Well, I'm just gonna have to push through it. I can't let a pinky toe stop me. Yeah, I, mean, I survived. That was about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, my best accomplishment. It was a hard day for sure. They were, go uh, they were going hard. <laughs> Awesome, all these guys are top, top athletes, like it's an honor training with them. It's, it's amazing experience. Um, yeah, I couldn't be more blessed. <laughs> Got a couple of bruises, but that's the game. <laughs> we were able to really assess like who knew how to wrestle and who was just kind of going on effort. That's really important, no? And uh, we uh, sometimes we talk for the jiu-jitsu save you. Big Buddha Run is just a, a really steep hill that you just you're just running up. <laughs> Why do we do this? <laughs> <laughs>